Take time to create your holiday marketing plans in advance. The last thing you want is to pull an all-nighter right before the Black Friday and Cyber Monday craze. Hey, it's Nora from Printful's marketing team. Last year, Cyber Monday generated $7.9 billion in sales and became the biggest online shopping day in US history. And that was only one day in November. With Black Friday and a handful of other spending occasions in December, online retailers like you stand a chance to make the holiday season your most profitable time of the year. While the holiday season holds a lot of opportunities for your business to grow, you're not gonna be the only one trying to get the attention of online shoppers. To be ahead of the competition, you need a clear action plan for the months to come. Leaving everything to the last minute will not only be stressful, but it'll also cost you lost sales. To make sure this doesn't happen, find time to sit down and follow the steps in this video for the smoothest holiday season yet. Before we begin, make sure you subscribe to our channel and tap on the little bell icon to get notified about our latest videos. That way you can get updated on the latest marketing and e-commerce tips for every occasion, not just the holidays. Number one, create a timeline. While Black Friday and Cyber Monday are the stars of the season, there are other shopping occasions that shouldn't slip your mind. Here are a few you can research and put on your calendar. Canadian Thanksgiving if you're selling in Canada, Halloween, American Thanksgiving, Black Friday, Small Business Saturday, Cyber Monday, Green Monday, Free Shipping Day, Hanukkah, Christmas Eve and Day, Boxing Day, and New Year's Eve. Once you've decided on your holiday season highlights, get in touch with your suppliers and ask them to specify the order deadlines. Those are the days by which your customers should place their orders to receive them in time for the festivities. At Printful, we notify all of our customers when we publish our shipping deadlines for Christmas, so keep an eye out for them. Put these dates on your calendar as well, plan your marketing around them, and use the dates as part of your promotions. To make sure your customers understand what order deadlines mean, you can plan an announcement email and schedule reminders for loyal customers, incorporate deadlines in all of your marketing copy, and add the deadlines to your social media profiles or cover photos for the holiday season. Number two, decide on your holiday specials. Next on your to-do list is deciding what types of deals you will offer this holiday season. Pick one or mix and match to find what works for your audience. For example, you could offer a percentage or dollar discount, free shipping, do a flash sale, a giveaway or contest, create a promo code, or offer a discount to loyal customers. Once you've made up your mind about the deals, think about the products you want to put on the pedestal. Are you going to promote one of your best sellers, or will you try to get your customers interested in something a little more slow selling? Got anything new that you're planning to add? If you're looking to add holiday themed products to your store, consider trending products of the season, like sweaters, beanies, socks, mugs, posters, or canvas prints. Number three, prepare your store. Some of your marketing efforts will need to be set up on your website, so be sure to prepare for that ahead of time. Try out and set up these discounts and coupon codes, retargeting pixels, abandoned cart recovery emails, exit pop-ups, and web push notifications. Whichever features you decide to use, set it up ahead of time. You want to have a little bit of wiggle room to test it so everything works when shoppers rush to your store in a couple of months. And while you're at it, make sure everything on your store is running smoothly, especially your checkout process. Go through the whole thing yourself to make sure it's short and intuitive. You also want to double check your product descriptions and care instructions, store policies like privacy, shipping and returns, contact and subscription forms, and the About Us page. If after running technical maintenance, you notice that something needs improvement, make changes right away to avoid updating your site during the holiday season. Number four, craft social media copy. In the next couple of months, you'll have to create a lot of social media posts to promote your holiday specials. Write the copy out for a good chunk of them ahead of time, and you won't have to worry about getting the tagline just right the night before. The most popular social media channels for e-commerce businesses are Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest. When creating copy for your holiday social media posts, remember that each channel is used for slightly different purposes. For example, Twitter is a platform where people voice their opinions, discuss public events, or let off some steam. Pinterest, on the other hand, is purely visual and used for design or lifestyle inspiration. Although these two social media platforms are similar, their user demographic doesn't exactly match. So it's fair to say that what's popular on Pinterest won't be as engaging on Twitter and vice versa. To get an even better picture of what content will get more attention on your social media accounts, examine your audience's behavior on each channel, paying extra attention to user activity peaks and top performing content. Don't spread yourself too thin trying to be visible on all platforms. Instead, pick your target audience's favorite and focus all of your energy on that. Does your target audience spend a lot of time on Instagram? Then work with that. If you need some extra help, you can check out our video on Instagram marketing, link in the description. Number five, write emails. Next, you have your holiday campaign emails. Writing them in advance will help you keep your voice and tone consistent. You don't want to rush them and forget something important. Here are a few ideas for your holiday email campaigns. Order deadlines, announcements, and reminders. Product or offer of the week. 
sale preview, free shipping campaign announcement and reminders, gift guide, and new product launches. Number six, prepare the visuals. People remember up to 80% of what they see and only about 20% of what they read. If you want to stand out from the crowd this holiday season, invest some time into creating eye-catching imagery for your marketing campaigns. Depending on what you have planned for this holiday season, you might need to create visuals for product showcases, email campaigns, social media posts, social media covers, blog headers, email headers, email content, store banners, pop-ups, and ads. The great thing is you don't have to take all the photos yourself. Use the Printful mock-up generator to create and download stylish lifestyle snaps of your products or try out Printful's photography services. If you need more general visual material, browse websites like Pexels, Unsplash, and Pixabay to get beautiful royalty-free images. And make sure to also check out our video on free Adobe Photoshop alternatives you can use to create stunning imagery for your store. Links to all these resources are in the description below. Just remember, whichever road you take, use images and graphics that are relevant to the product or deal you're offering. Number seven, schedule your campaigns. Once you've got all your content ready to go, grab that calendar you made and start scheduling your campaigns according to your plan. For the best results, don't just share your content whenever. Schedule to go live at the time your audience is most likely to read and interact with it. First, emails. Based on the data of 14 different studies about the best email sending times, the best days to send emails are Tuesdays, followed by Thursdays and Wednesdays. As for the send times, you should schedule your campaigns around 10 a.m., 8 p.m. to midnight, 2 p.m. or 6 a.m. Second, social media. The best time to schedule your marketing content on social media varies from platform to platform. On Facebook, it's Monday to Wednesday at 12 p.m., but on Twitter, Monday to Wednesday at 12 p.m. or 1 p.m., and Instagram, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday at 12 p.m. Once your campaigns are scheduled, you're all set. Just be sure to block out time in your calendar during the holidays to answer all your customer questions, comments, and replies. Doing so will boost your productivity, reduce stress, and most importantly, keep your customers engaged with you and your brand. There's a lot to do in the months to come, so I recommend that you start now. You can find a checklist of all seven steps and the resources I mentioned to help you along the way in the description below. Is it your first holiday season or are you an experienced player in the game? Let me know in the comments below. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that video. Don't forget to subscribe to never miss out on our latest content and check out other videos on our channel to help your store become more successful.